Hey guys, welcome back. Nick Law and Boyden Real Estate, the leading authority of all things real estate east of the Connecticut River, all others by referral. Hey, if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps us get the word out about important activity in the Connecticut marketplace, any changes, uh, current laws, and the current conditions. Uh, so we're back from Atlantic City. We had a great tour down there, checking out different properties as well as enjoying some of the Memorial Day festivities. Uh, also had some time in Boston this past week, go Celtics, had a private invite, very uh, special thanks to Chris Law Firm inviting us up along with a guest so we could check out the poor house, never done that before, as well as uh, network, get the cards out, meet some new people, attorneys, bankers, appraisers, it was a great environment. Uh, so again, very grateful and of course Celtics won, so that made the night even more uh, memorable and special. So here we are, we're back in Connecticut, prime time, it's June 5th, can you believe it? The year's half over, you did it, all right? Pounding down, coming out of the, uh, the bases of the second quarter here, Jeffrey March, April, May, June. All right, get ready for the third quarter, so let's get after it. Market conditions, you've heard about turmoil in the uh, marketplace. Rates are going up. They're going up again later this month. What are the basis points going to look like by October? So that's caused quite the, the rush, as well as anyone that's, um, you know, we have to be careful to say about fair housing, but this time of year, there's particular events between now and the beginning of September that are advantageous for people that really want to make a move and really want to make that sale. So you have that kind of spring flurry, a little bit of a lull, but now schools are getting out. That's the time and we're seeing that. This past seven days, we had 1,042 new listings hit the market here in Connecticut, 776 sold. It's a significant swing in the other direction. People realize I'm probably behind the ball on the peak now. And if it was important to me to time it because of graduation, whatever family status moves are going on, now's my window and it's closing. Again, you had 776 that sold. Congrats, you did it. Oh, excuse me, on deposit. So they're on contract, accepted offers. 801 that actually closed. So if your goal this year was to get in, lock down, and that number can be deceiving. We have a lot, particularly our own office. That action happened in February when the rates were still like two and a half. They purchased points to buy ahead their rate lock to sell their own and whatever finaglings needed to occur. So a lot of what you're seeing is actually February business. It can be deceiving what's out there. It's actually slowed up quite a bit. Those um, You'll see that I think in the next two weeks when the late rate locks expired out and the points just couldn't afford it, you'll really see that number start to trickle back down and the rates of five and a half going to six, maybe seven are having their impact. And that's what they're intended to do to kind of pump the brakes on inflation, bring the economy down a little bit. Um, if you're curious, what do things look like for me as a home seller in this current environment? Click that link down below. You'll get a free report for me. If you're curious, do I even bother buying now? Uh, I was thinking of selling to buy. Is it still a good time? There's a link for you there along with a free report. Click that. If you reviewed your report, you still have questions and concerns after, you can text me at that number. I'm happy to help. Or we can meet in my office for a cup of coffee. Or lately, the most popular option, we do a Zoom link. You can be anywhere, I can be anywhere, the most comfortable time for you, set up for 10 or 15 minute chat. We look at all the paperwork, all the reports at the same time. Next thing you know, there's a sign in the lawn and I'm showing up with a photographer. We make it very easy to do business and I have the testimonials to prove that. Uh, but that's all, we got a lot going on. I have inspection reports wrapping up today, appraisal reports and reinspections for next week. So it's a busy one. I will see you around the neighborhood soon.